Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good morning everyone So today we are on the last chapter for organic chemistry Which is chapter polymers So let's look at the learning outcome for this chapter So we are going to explain the terms for monomer, polymer, homopolymer, copolymer, straight chain polymer and cross link polymer and then we are going to look at the example of natural polymers such as protein, carbohydrates and natural rubber. And then we are going to explain the preparation of synthetic polymer through condensation polymerization and addition polymerization. And then we are going to state the uses of synthetic polymers. And lastly, we are going to identify the type of addition polymer and condensation polymer. We are going to deduce what is the monomer for the given polymer. And then we are going to write the equation to show the preparation of polyamide, polyester and addition polymer. So this is the overview for this chapter. Alright. So we have the terms here and the polymer is divided into natural polymer and synthetic polymer. So there are two types of natural polymer as you can see here. And the synthetic polymer can be prepared using two uh, types of method which is condensation reaction and addition reaction. Okay, And for the condensation polymerization, we can form two types of polymer and for the addition polymerization we can form a polyalkene polymer so without further ado let's get started so let's look at the introduction part which is the terms that is uh, in the chapter polymer so first what is polymer so polymer is a macromolecule that is made up of many small repeating units called monomers linked together by the covalent bond so we have a large number of monomer A here. So a large number of monomer A will be linked together by a covalent bond to form a very long polymer A. Okay, so polymer can be represented by their repeating unit in the long chain. So this is how we uh, write the polymer to uh, show the repeating unit for the polymer. Okay, so we have A and then we write N here. So N here may be like number lah. Okay. Alright. Next. What is monomer? So monomer is a basic molecular unit that can join to many other to form polymer. Okay. So homopolymer is a polymer form from only one types of monomer unit. So kalau we use, so if we use only one types of monomer, then that is a homopolymer. So example, we have ethylene here. Okay, this is monomer ethene or ethylene. Okay, so a large number n, or oh, so n number of ethene, okay, will form a polyethene. Okay, so this polyethene is made up of only one type of one type of monomer, which is ethene. Okay, so what is copolymer? So copolymer is a polymer formed from two or more different monomer. So if we form the polymer from two or more types of monomer, contoh we form uh, using monomer A, monomer N, monomer B, we will form a copolymer. A and B. So, for example, we have one one dichloroethene, okay, as monomer A, and one chloroethene as monomer B. So, these two monomer bond together through a covalent bond to form this copolymer. Okay. So, this is the overview for the types of polymer lah. So, polymer have homopolymer and copolymer. So, this is how the uh, the monomer bonded together to form a monomer. So, homopolymer A, 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 A uh, it will be a repeating unit of monomer A in a long chain and copolymer will uh, alternate between A, B, A, B, A, B like that. Okay? Alright. Next, we look at a uh, structure of polymer. So, first one is linear polymer. So, linear polymer is a polymer consists of monomer that are linked in straight and long continuous chain. 
So linear or straight chain polymer can be folded back upon themselves in a random fashion. So linear polymer is recyclable because it is soft and can be reformed when heated. Okay, so it's very uh, direct. So this is the example for the straight chain polymer. Okay, so this straight chain polymer can be folded in a random fashion. Okay, we can fold it in like this. Okay. Okay, so how about the second one? So cross-link polymer. So cross-link polymer contains branches that connect linear polymer chain as shown in the figures below. So long polymer chain will be cross-linked by branch. So kita ada branch polymer straight chain and then dia akan ada satu uh, molecule yang akan jadi bridge untuk uh, sambung lagi dengan another Uh, straight chain polymer ok so kita akan form branch lah kat sini ok so cross link polymer is harder and more elastic polymer compared to linear polymer so it cannot be remelted or remolded again ok so the equation below shows the chemical reaction for the rubber vulcanization process so here Okay, so in a vulcanization in a vulcanization process, long, long chain of polyisoprene are cross-linked by sulfur atom. So kita cross-linkkan this polymer, okay, dengan sulfur untuk form cross-link polymer yang lagi kuat and elastic. Okay, so after vulcanization, rubber becomes more stable over wide range of temperature and far more durable than natural rubber. Okay. Alright, next we are going to look at the types of polymer. So we are going to look at natural polymer. So natural polymer are polymers that synthesized in nature or naturally occurring polymer. So there are three types of natural polymer. First one is protein, second one is carbohydrates and third one is natural rubber. Okay, so let's look at protein. So protein are the most abundant organic molecule in animal such as enzyme, hormone, hemoglobin and many other things. It is, a, it is a natural polymer built from amino acid linked by amide bond. So we have learned this in amino acid, how we can form the polypeptide bond, uh, how we can form a peptide bond or amide bond to form a polymer made up from amino acid. Okay. Next is carbohydrate. So carbohydrate such as starch is also a polymer. So we have starch such as amylose here and then amylopectin. So this uh, contain 1,4 glycosidic and alpha 1,6 glycosidic linkage. Okay. And last one is natural rubber. So natural rubber is a polymer of 2-methyl 1-tributadiena also known as isoprene. So... Alright, so another name for natural rubber is cis-1,4 polyisoprene. All the double bond in a natural rubber are cis configuration. And natural rubber is soft, not strong or elastic and sticky. That makes it less useful. So that's, that's why we will uh, undergo the vulcanization process to make the rubber more durable and elastic. Okay. Okay. The second type of polymer is synthetic polymer. So synthetic polymer are polymer that are prepared in industries from monomers that have gone through polymerization process. So polymerization is a process that combine monomer to form polymer. So synthetic polymer can be classified based on their method of preparation. Okay. So the first one is addition polymerization. So addition polymerization is the addition reaction in which unsaturated monomers are joined together by covalent bond to form a polymer without elimination of a small molecule. So we simplify, uh, we simply add the what? Add the monomer to form the polymer. So we uh, uh, no need to eliminate any small molecule in order to form the polymer. So therefore, addition polymer always involve the polymerization of monomer which have double bond within the monomer. Okay. So for example, this uh, the first example when we want to form a polyethylene. 
So this is a unsaturated and unsaturated uh, monomer ethene. So we are always use the peroxide as an initiator for the addition polymerization. So example of peroxide is H2O2, CH3O, CH3 and others. Okay, so this ethene will undergo addition polymerization okay, to form polyethene. And then the second one is formation of polyvinyl chloride or PVC. We use chloroethene. Okay, in the presence of peroxide as the initiator, we are going to form polychloroethene or PVC. Okay. Next, formation of polystyrene. We use phenylethene as the monomer. So, monomer poly, uh, phenylethene in the presence of peroxide will form polystyrene. Okay. And last one is the formation of Teflon. Okay, we have isoprene. Okay, will form poly isoprene. All right. Next, we are going to look at the uh, second uh, method for polymerization, which is condensation polymerization. So, condensation polymerization is a process that combines the monomer with elimination of a small molecule such as water, methanol, hydrogen chloride or ammonia to form polymer. So, tadi kalau addition polymerization, we simply add the polymer add the monomer banyak-banyak to form a polymer because we uh, use the uh, monomer yang ada double bond or unsaturated monomer. However, for condensation polymerization, in order to uh, link the monomer together, we need to eliminate small molecule in for, for us to form the bond between the monomer to form a polymer. Okay, so the, polymer, the, the polymers obtained from condensation polymerization are called condensation polymers. So the monomers involved in this polymerization must have at least two identical or different functional group in the molecule. Okay, so here, when a carboxylic acid with two carboxyl group react with an amine with two amine group, a polyamide is formed. Okay? But when a carboxylic acid with two carboxyl group react with an alcohol with two hydroxyl group, a polyester is formed. Okay, so let's look at the formation of polyamide. Okay? Okay, first we are going to look at the formation of nylon 66. So we have hexane 16-diamine as the first monomer. Okay, both has two amine group okay and second one we have hexane one six dioic acid they have two carboxyl group so two carboxyl group for it for this monomer and two amine group in this monomer will form a polyamide okay next formation of nylon six so we have one uh this uh monomer where this monomer have one carboxyl group and one amine group so they will form nylon 6 okay that's the formation of kevlar okay we have one for diaminobenzene we have this monomer with, with two amine group with two amino group and this terephthalic acid with two acyl chloride group okay we will form uh, under the condensation uh, polymerization, we will eliminate hydrogen and chlorine okay, to form Kevlar. Alright. So, that one is polyamide. So, polyester is the repeating functional group in this polymer chain or ester. So, the most familiar polyester is polyethylene known as dacron or terylene. Okay, the polymer is formed by the reaction of ethylene glycol with methyl ester or tetraphthalic acid. So in this process, a molecule of methanol is split out for each new ester group form. So kalau tadi, untuk formation of polyamide, kita akan buang satu hydrogen and OH, so we eliminate water here. Okay, this one also. And this one, we eliminate hydrochloric acid, HCl. 
But for the formation of polyester, we are going to uh, uh, what we call eliminate methanol. Okay, so let's look at the example one. So the formation of dacron. So we use dimethyl terephthalate. Okay, we will uh, eliminate the OCH3 from this monomer and OH group from this uh, diol to form dacron. And then we will eliminate the methanol here. Okay, so same as the formation of tyrolene. Okay, we are going to uh, eliminate the OH from COOH and eliminate the hydrogen from the diol. Okay, so we will eliminate the water and then we bond together to form a tyrolene polymer. Okay, and last one is the uses of synthetic polymers. So these are the uses of synthetic polymers. So for polyvinyl chloride, PVC, the uses of this polymer is to make water pipes, seat covers, floor tiles, footwear, raincoats, and tablecloth. Polystyrene, making disposable cups and plates, food containers, foam packaging, egg, box, egg boxes. And Kevlar, we are going to use that for lightweight bulletproof vests, protective clothing worn by firefighters. Okay, Tyrolin is used to make clothing fiber, tire card and plastic film. And Teflon are used to coat in the non-stick frying pan because it, it, uh, its ability to resist high temperature and is widely used in medicine synthesis, tests and many more medicine. Okay, so that is all for uh, this chapter polymer. So we are done with organic chemistry. So I hope you uh, understand this chapter. And yeah, bye bye. Assalamualaikum.